welcome back to another video. As you can see, we've got Fabio VRS in the background today. Jay Valentin's popped round and he's going to give an honest review on the Alien Magic products we're going to use today. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first off, as you see here, we started with the uh, arch wash. Um, basically, when you're doing a car wash, this is the first thing that you want to do before you do any rinsing of any other parts. Make sure you thoroughly rinse out all under the arch. We then went on to using the all-purpose cleaner, spraying it all under the arch, just giving it a thorough soak in and then rinsing off again. Yuck, look at that. As you can see now, we then went on to spraying out again. That's to get rid of all the all-purpose cleaner um, and just to clean out all the arches. All cars ha have a tendency to sort of hold water and muck right behind the arch. And it's just good to give it a good blast out. Gets it all off the suspension, all off behind the arches, and it's just perfect. Go and click subscribe now. Make sure you've got the bell notification on, otherwise you're going to get bad luck. You know it. So as you can see there, we've got the trigger sprayer out. We're now onto the wheels after we've got all the muck out of the arches. Um, the reason why we do that first is obviously so that you don't drop all the muck onto the wheels once you've cleaned the wheels, because then it just makes it pointless. So we're now onto the wheels. Like I say, we've got the APC from Alien Magic, the citrus pre-wash. Um, we literally use this all over the wheels. Um, you don't have to use a wheel cleaner on the wheels. This APC is quite strong, and if you dilute it, even sort of 100 millilitres to a litre, um, you seem to get amazing results. That's what we've done today and all the wheels came out spot on. And then it was time again for another little rinse off. Get these wheels nice and juicy. British summertime, rain has absolutely killed it. Um, we've used the citrus pre washing all the wheels and it's now starting down. So, yeah, hopefully it's going to stop in a second and we can carry on. So, always advisable when, before you wash a car, always, always do a pre rinse. This will get rid of any loose grit or grime um, that's obviously not contaminated onto the paint but just laying on the surface obviously as you can see here it's really wet and horrible today so this is a really good way to start obviously on the way to my house Geordie will have picked up god knows what off the road so this is just a good way of eliminating scratches and swells before you have Geordie's still going at it anyway so first up after the rinse down APC over the whole car um, this is to get rid of, like it says on the tin, it's an all-purpose cleaner, so it's going to get rid of any loose dirt and grime before we go into the snow foam. For once, it's actually nice not to be the one washing my own car and filming somebody else wash theirs for once. I've never actually done this before, um, pure and simply because I just haven't had the time. Uh, but now I'm trying to get as much content as I can. Geordie was up for coming around and giving his car clean this morning and seeing what Alien Magic's all about. He has tried a few of their products before. Um, so this was a good chance for him to try everything. And so far, he is very happy and has said to me more times than I care to mention that he absolutely loves his APC. So top mark for the APC. door that hasn't been done, door that has been done. Just the citrus APC, and that's a mad difference. You can see there in the camera, it's actually, it's insane. Just from one little step. Now we've let the citrus pre-wash just sit for a little while. It's good to, good to blast it off. Um, so that's now coming off, and then you'll see um, next up is gonna be the snow foam. This is where, in my opinion, the most fun of all car cleaning. This is where I get the most satisfaction, watching mountains of snow come out of the snow foam, or the snow cannon, whatever you want to call it. 
It looks epic. It's super thick, super suddy. Um, the Alien Magic Snow Foam. This is the Tsunami. Um, and it definitely has a right name. It is absolutely incredible stuff. I use it all the time. Um, Jordan absolutely loved it and was surprised how thick it was. Um, as you'll see, once he's snow foamed the car, he does go around with a little hog's hair brush around all the little nooks and crannies, i.e. the doors, the mirrors, the back of the window, just all the little nooks and crannies that you can't necessarily get to when you're actually washing the car with a mitt. So that's something to note. If you haven't got a hog's hair brush, definitely, definitely invest in one of those. Or just a super, super soft brush. That's all you need, a little soft brush, just to get in between all the little nooks and crannies around the windows and stuff, and you'll be good to go. As I said, you can see the snow foam just sat there, it's literally pulling all the dirt off. Although it is really, really wet today, so it's probably not going to do as a good of a job as it would have done if it was slightly drier. But still, it can definitely work really well. Um, it's just the rain has really, really not been on our side today. We'll see the odd few marks down the bottom of the pavement with a sticker there. Now all that is is just tar from the roads, so we whacked on some tar and glue remover on that and it got rid of, I'd say, 95% of it. Um, it's incredible stuff, you literally spray it on, we used a microfiber to wipe it off and it literally just came off. It takes a bit of a rub depending on how bad the tar stains are, if they've been on there for a while then obviously they're going to need a bit more agitating to get them off. Um, but yeah, pretty much after you've got the snow foam on, it's just a case of letting it sit for 5 or 10 minutes. Obviously we had the rain so we let it sit for even longer, probably 15. Um, and then it was just a case of rinsing everything off. You don't realise how many steps there should be when you're actually um, with someone who cleans cars every day. Um, I do mine wrong pretty much all the time, which is why once it's sprayed, I can't wait to get bloody ceramic coat on because it makes it so much easier. Um, but anyway, we're on to the Bling Shampoo now. As you can see, it's super, super suddy. Um, it's a really, really good product. One of my favourite shampoos. They've got a couple of different ones, but this is probably my favourite one. Um, as you'll see... Geordie basically goes around the car, really, really simple, really, really easy to use. Even in direct sunlight, you can get away with leaving this on the car a little while. It doesn't leave any streak marks, but I would suggest if you're working in direct sunlight, try and do a panel at a time and just be quickly, or what I would normally do is just do one side at a time and then spray it down, um, because obviously, like anything, the longer you leave it on there in the sun, it's not good. But luckily, in a way, we had the rain to start with, so it gave us a chance and to kind of get around the whole car really quickly and uh, just bosh it out. As you see, Geordie there, basically just give it a good rinse. Um, always, after you've done a few passes on the paint, it's always good to just have two bucket method. Both got grit guards in the bottom. Just give it a good rinse, a good squeeze out, a little shake, and then you're good to go again. As you can see, Geordie there, that's another thing to mention. Um, always just work in straight lines if you can. It's really easy to just grab hold of a wash mitt and just go around in circles because it feels like the natural thing to do. But going in straight lines is the best way to minimise swell marks. Um, and one thing I will say as well, Geordie's car's actually never had, although he's a valet, because he's so busy, he's actually um, never had chance to um, valet his own car yet. So that's something he's going to get around to. So if there is any swell marks anywhere or you see any swell marks in the video, Please give us a break, give him a break, because he hasn't had a chance to do it because he's just a busy man like the rest of us. Here you can really see how much suds this stuff starts to create when you, when you start working it in. The screen was quite soiled, so we really did use um, quite a lot of pressure and... Um, a lot of product on the wooden screen but yeah you can see for yourself there it's absolutely epic then it was just a case of rinsing everything off um, you'll see Geordie doing that there 
Once we've done the rinse off, we got the massive towel, uh, the big old drying towel, got that on there, whip that on the top, that gets rid of all the water super easy, literally just glides across the top and then I must admit we used the uh, blower on the tyres and the wheels just to make it easier and quicker, so I felt like I needed to help Geordie, the weather was so in and out and um, we did that. Then we went on to using the ceramic quick detailer and that done a really good job of um, sort of filling in some, where some of the swell marks were and just giving the car a nice bit of gloss. Um, the ceramic quick detailer can sort of add between three and six months of protection so it's a really good product, we had that on and as you'll see the final result was pretty incredible. It's just buffing away here as you can see with the alloy wheel sealant, this stuff works really really well. Um, I normally use this every week but it does give you quite a lot of protection but every week that I wash my car this goes straight onto the wheels. And there we have it, after a load of hard work from Geordie and not much hard work from me, uh, the car looks absolutely epic, the Fabio VRS is clean once again, I'm sure Geordie will be really happy because he hasn't had his car washed himself in absolutely ages because he's just too busy with work as am I, so it was an absolute pleasure, I hope you've all enjoyed watching today's video. Please click the link down in the uh, description below to the Alien Magic website and to Geordie's Instagram. I'll also tag his um, Valentin business, which is J.E. Valentin. Um, so yeah, go and give him a follow. He's trying to get up to a thousand followers, so I'd really appreciate it. And uh, we'll head to the outro. I hope you've enjoyed today's video guys, thank you for watching, as always peace out and I'll see you in the next one.